giant in and out on me. Weird stuff is really coming into play. What the heck? Wow, that was crazy. In the heart of Bristol, Oklahoma, what used to be the old trading post back in the day. Most of these buildings that you see around me, such as like the Roots Hometown Furniture, we filmed that in episode two. These buildings were built back in the 1920s, could be dated back later. We're going to meet in just a moment the owner of Body Progression, where we're going to be at. From what we have gathered, was it used to be the old grocery store, the apartment store, and they both used to be brothers. Upstairs is the old apartments, so that's where a lot of people in Bristol says it's haunted. So, what do you say guys? Let's go ahead and check it out. Follow me. All right, so we made it to Body Progression here in Bristol, Oklahoma. I'm standing here with Brandon Groom. Uh, how we doing? Good, good. 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 <laughs> good to have you guys here. Thank you. So uh, tonight, as I explained a little bit, we're here to investigate your uh, upstairs. Apparently, right. from what the community said, it's pretty haunted. Yeah. What is what some stuff you experienced? Man, I mean, for one thing, when I first bought the building, they told me it was built in... 1905. I mean, it's pretty far back and didn't think much of it, but then they said, well, there's there's been all kinds of things upstairs. Been like uh, some offices, some old prostitution houses, and some, some hotels where people may have got murdered or things like that. I didn't think much about it, but man, what I've experienced since being here since October of 2010, I think it is. <laughs> well, let's just say I wanted to live up there, but nobody lives up there. <laughs> Because we've seen some creepy stuff and heard some creepy stuff and more than that, felt some creepy stuff, if you know right. what I mean, right. up there. Um, I mean, anything, to go into more detail, anything from like doors slamming to uh, lights being on and off. Sure. I mean, there's, there's some kind of weird chill that you get in certain rooms, but not other rooms. And it's kind of like... You know, whenever you feel like you're being watched or the hair on your neck standing up wow. and you're just like, man, there's something here or something like that. And then you don't always feel like that. Right. And there were certain rooms that didn't feel like a problem, but then other other rooms, the hallway being one of them, and then other, other rooms just randomly would feel like, hey, there's something wrong here, some trouble here. And it, it just kind of felt like someone was going to jump out at you at any moment. It was definitely not but, a good vibe, right? Yeah, the vibe, the vibe. Yeah. Cool. So I've seen you've been recently doing some remodeling here. Have you experienced anything since you've been remodeling? Well, remodeling was kind of cool because we got rid of a lot of the junk upstairs and stuff like that. And I'm not sure if that had anything to do with any uh, paranormal stuff upstairs. But the remodel was supposed to be to redo apartments up there and get six or seven apartments up there. But somehow that all went wrong and I'm not sure there was maybe a lot of things involved but all went wrong and you know there was different weird things with the power upstairs and um, you know some of the plumbing that we even thought were, was right didn't work for us and, and, and especially the electricity issue there's some weird stuff as far as certain things working certain things that were never working started working and then some stuff that was supposed to work for us that we were trying to repair didn't work at all so um, I know that I know there was some people staying upstairs for a while and this lady said that she felt stuff so bad that she honestly like got a Bible and prayed over these rooms and tried to like you know tell the spirits to leave and all that and she said that it did help but I mean there's still some stuff up there that you can feel maybe not as bad as it was but I don't go up there unless I have to right that's kind of the deal so I, I don't know if you know this or not, but I kind of dug deep uh, on the interwebs about the facility here. Yeah. Um, apparently, I guess my understanding used to be a little grocery store at one point, yeah, and an old department store, yeah. So that kind of piqued my interest. Is you know I grew up here. I never I never even knew that. 
Um, and I know whenever we film uh, the Cops Part 2 back in 2016, um, me and some of the cast experienced some stuff, such as Gina here. I know Gina, my wife, some others, they, they actually seen a black figure down the hallway. Really? Jeez. Yeah, so, Man. you know, I know with a lot of people and me, like, we, you know, we get goosebumps. I get goosebumps just now just talking about it. It's, you know, it's crazy. So, yeah. I definitely hope we can uh, capture something on film, um, and hopefully, Spirits don't go home with us tonight. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling because like you said, you know, the, the grocery department store, the grocery store, the youth center, and all that's been downstairs. But man, the upstairs is where, you know, it's like that was just kind of the, the hush hush stuff or, or things that might have happened up there that, that weren't really for the public. And that's where I think where all the scary stuff is, mm. and where you really feel the vibe, you know. And, uh, Man, like I said, yeah, I just hope they don't go home with you, but I hope they don't stay here either. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean. Well, if we can kind of help it any kind of way, we'll try to. Um, so that being said, we're about ready to shut the lights off. For everybody that is watching, um, for one, we want to thank you so much for tuning in. This is episode four of GPS. Um, if you guys really love what we do and want to see more and maybe help us invest some more time into this, there's a little donate button in the description. Be sure to hit that, show us some love. Until then, enjoy the rest of the video. Isn't this the one that she was talking about, seeing him walk through? I do not think so. I don't think so, because that room connects all the way down there. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, yeah. Night light stars. Stars at blue. Cover your light up and look. I think I got them good. Whoa. What are those bugs over there? Where? On. See those? What the heck were they using this for? Those were, those look like butterflies? Yeah, now shut your light off and watch. Step. What was that? Did you hear step? Yeah. I threw a time on there. Is that Tim talking through that? Nope. Do you want us to leave? You want us to leave? I think it's picking up radio sometimes. Did you hear 
that. What is it say? It said a bad word. <laughs> I, oh, I figured that's what it said. Yeah. I was like, I don't know, pretend it. I didn't know if it said that. Yeah, you heard it, didn't you? Yeah. Did you say that bad word? I can swear it just said the... Yeah. Do you not like us being here? We mean you no harm. Did you used to live here? Again. Problem is it's picking up radio sometimes, so it could be the radio, but saying the F word on the radio. Yeah, seventy point seventy five point five to ninety five seven point five does it sometimes. But very rarely, so I got these old <laughs> corroded up. This is old building, but man, I just. I've never felt weird in here, so I don't know. We're gonna go through this way, dude. Let's see if it's. Back here. Make sure it's stable. Nothing there. Wonder what's in that bottle, huh? I'm not even. I don't even need to ask. Well, it's gonna be snacks. What's this?
beef schnapps. Got some schnapps in here. But, but you have your ground coffee. That's all that matters. Someone right there? Was that the room with the mattress in it? Yeah. Let's go this way. Stay looking down this hall. No. I'm not going around. Was it this one or was it that one? No. Let's just get camera. I need to see. I don't know if it was that. No, it's got to be back there. There's no way in it over here. Circle around. Oh my gosh! Did you not hear that? No, I did. Get the out of me. Shoot crap out of me. You heard that though, right? Yes, I did. What the crap? In a weird way, I thought it would be them, but these rooms do not connect. And it sounded like it was right here in this room or the one next, and there at the Well, there is a hole there. Could connect. Before I try sticking my head in there, stick that camera back in there. See if you see anything. Oh, dude, there's no way. Uh, it sounded like somebody was right in here on this stuff. That's weird. Can you tell us your name? How old are you? Can you tell us how old you are? really silent now. Like not, you don't even hear like a park show radio, no nothing. Uh -huh. Did you die here? That's a personal question. to work here.
Mm -hmm. You want to try to try out another one? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. I swear I'm hearing like someone's right here with us walking on this side. It's, but it could be the old building we're in anyways. That's them. Mm -hmm. I swear it sounded like somebody was right here. I'm hooked on that because it trips me out because I thought these rooms might connect to that hallway, but none of it connects right here. No, I'm with you. I mean, I heard that. That's why I'm going to get the camera picked up. See what I mean? Like they're all walled off individually. I got an idea. Cause I heard it when we were back over on that side, right? Yes. So stand right here. I'm gonna walk back over on this. Hey, it's on you, mate. Huh? Watch it. I got you. I'm taking it's on you. Woo! I just mean to stay there cause I'm gonna walk across this wood like where we were at and see if the sound comes back. We were only right here. Turn that off. Yeah, I don't hear anything. I guess we'll try going back this way. We'll try going back that way. Behind you. Fucking step over these. Yeah. Renovations, right? I'm gonna trip and stab myself. But don't do that. That would be bad. Watch out for that corner right there. Oh, boys are loud. Except for Dad. That's being a proud father. Does that make you laugh? Yeah. It's not supposed to be boys allowed.
Well, we've got curse word that is. Yeah, that's it. What? Curse words. From that? that the yeah. F word out of from F word and F Are you sure it's not C D? Who says peanut on C D? That's weird. Yeah. I'm gonna call both of them. I'm over. It has to say that, but it says the F word. I think it's a bad. I mean, we've had a couple things. It's a plain as day. The F word. I could swear it said that. Yeah. And it said plain as day. Penis. I mean, they did say there's prostitution after right. possibly. And they called it the F word. <laughs> but it was just But the minute we went in that room, one room back there, there was like nothing. Like nothing. Mm -hmm. it was completely new. And then the minute we came out of the room, we started getting stuff back again. Yeah. Who died here? So where was you getting the most feedback? Like right through here and right through here, this hallway. Right at that one. Yeah. That scared me. <laughs> well, I did that to myself. Can we go anywhere? Let's back in. Whoa. Watch your footing. I oh, know. Don't take me away. He hears everything. That's probably save um, my soul. They had a Halloween thing up here, didn't they? Yeah. Sure they did. Are we possibly in a room um, where prostitution used to take place? Yeah. Are you possibly a victim? We have a couple of devices here. We have a recorder and we have a we have a frequency transmitter um, that can let us know when you're you're by or that you can uh, you know if you're if you want to say something um, we'll be able to pick it up. Feel free to speak to us, make your presence known. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to. We just know why. We want to know why you're here and ask you a couple questions. Do you by chance remember me personally at all when I worked up here back a few years ago? Do you remember my name? Are you by chance uh, the owner of the grocery store here or the department store that was downstairs? Or anybody, are you one of the residents that still lives here in the apartment? So if you are here, we would love to just chat with you just a moment. If you can make your presence known in any way, make something move or fall or speak into one of these devices, we'll be we'll be just fine. We can go. Would you like for us to leave? device here uh, and we're gonna we're gonna leave. I'm gonna leave a little device here. If you'd like to say anything or 
or whatever um, will be right here you can talk into. Go ahead and turn that off. I just want to be in the dark and see if I can feel anything. Because remember we talked about having a chill. I've not had a chill or an uneasy feeling when I've been up here. I've been sweating. So. I mean, I've been sweating, but that's because there's no way to see you. We're in like yeah. the attic. But seriously, look, I haven't. I haven't felt anything. I haven't felt like anything's been watching me. Something is here. Make a noise. That's not a passing car. Or fellow members walking down the hall. I think it's old. This place was built in 1905, but I'm saying I don't. I mean, maybe it was. Who knows, but I just, I don't feel... I mean, he did say that there was a um, lady that came up here with the Bible. That's true. I mean, if there's one thing I can say for sure, I know the Bible and spirits don't get along most of the time, so... I mean, it was weird. The sound came, I'm, I'm for sure it came from this room. No, I'm with you. We did hear but, the sound. I'm hoping the video picked it up. But I'm saying, like, just that one sound doesn't prove anything, though. Yep. <laughs> that and this place is gonna be brand new when they're done renovating it like this, so. I'm gonna go in here and sit on this bed. Ooh, watch out for that. Okay. I said I thought I stepped on a nail. Are you sure you wanna sit down on that thing? Well, I'm gonna sit on the bench right next to it. Maybe. Oh. All right. So the problem is this window's open too. You can hear everything from outside through this hole. That hole, yeah. So if somebody were to hit something outside, it could have sounded like something in here though. Ah, oh, that sucks. Well, I wanted to hear if there was talking or anything because I just don't. I've, I've not felt uncomfortable in here. Mm -mm. And it almost sounded like radio through that box. Through that yeah. Box. Huh. I think if there was stuff, it might have been happening before they started renovating. Maybe. Probably because they did say they emptied out a lot of stuff. Yeah, he did say that. So it could have been attached to stuff. I will say it did get incredibly dark when they turned and left, though. Like, I could probably sleep here all night and never feel uncomfortable. With I mean, with the exception of the heat. I was going to say, now... Yeah. Is your name written on this wall? What name? This is the tree of life.
no harm. Can you tell us who you are? Can you tell us why you're staying here? The minute we say that, then like stuff comes back. Yeah. That may be all that we get. Did you hear mother? Mother? with your name. Can you tell us your name? Do you know my name? Are you watching us? If you're here with us, turn her device off. Can you turn my device off? Is there more than one?
If you understand, start start playing the piano back there. Third, some of that. Are you scared to leave? Hello, who's here with us? Did you work here? What's your name? Do you want to leave here? Did you die here in this building?
you get something? Not on this, just mostly for the, through the spirit box when we first came in. Do you want us to go downstairs so we can see if we capture anything on the recording? Or do you want to use the spirit box? So what we could do, uh -huh. um, we could possibly, since we have the recording up there, uh -huh. maybe leave this camera up there for a little bit in the spirit box. Okay. And see, and just leave it alone, see if that... It captures anything? Be, yeah. Okay. So let's try to sit this up on the table. Okay.